In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Holy Amen. Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, uh, for your resurrection power in us, Lord. Thank you for your great blessing upon, the Easter blessing upon each one of us, Lord. You have risen, Lord, and you are among us, and you are within us, Lord. Your presence, you have given the resurrection power to each one of us. Be like you, Lord Jesus. To follow you, to receive the power and give it to the people around us, Lord. But thank you for this wonderful blessing and wonderful mercy upon each one of us, Lord. But thank you for allowing us to see our lives through your eyes, Lord Jesus. Lord, give us the grace to understand your word more deeper in, deeper in every day, Lord Jesus. So that we can follow it. We can embrace it with all our heart and might, Lord Jesus. So that we, we embrace your love and grace without failure, Lord. We believe that you have given us the power, Lord Jesus. We just have to open our hearts and hands, Lord Jesus, so that you can enter into our hearts. Lord, we bless each and every children in the world, Lord Jesus. Bless them abundantly, Lord Jesus. Lord, don't, allow, don't let them hold them back to know the truth, Lord Jesus. Bless each and every one of us, especially our husband, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the messages you are giving through him, Lord Jesus. Bless his family, bless his school, and bless the children around him, and bless those who are talking to, he's talking to, Lord. But thank you for the abundant blessings you are giving, into, giving to his life, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your presence and the Holy Spirit in our life. In Jesus' name and Mother Mary's protection, amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So, yes. So, as I was um, saying, um, praise God, as uh, we were studying on those who trust in the Lord will lack no good thing. But uh, last time I said, uh, th I felt like this was the last day we would do the session, right? Yeah. So, uh, today we are going to study something new. Okay. And I say the word new, but actually it isn't. It is something that we have learned before. But the reason why I wanted to preach it again was because uh, I had got some more revelation on it. Now, let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Okay, I'll put the scripture. Praise God. Verse number 7. Okay, so see here, he's saying, for God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity. Uh, I'm reading from NLT, timidity, but of power, love, and sound, uh, self-discipline, sound mind. Now, I was saying uh, to you that I felt like learning it again, and it was on fear. Okay, praise God. So, um, you see fear. Fear is a demonic. The fear is demonic. And there should be nothing to convince us that fear is okay. We should not allow anything to convince us and to tell us that fear is okay. Fear is all right. There is nothing wrong with it. Fear is demonic. And we are supposed to not tolerate it. Now, many a times... Uh, we think it is natural. You see, for example, uh, have you heard that word stage fright? Uh, stage fright. Okay. Yeah. That, mm, yeah. Uh, some of you may even have it from here. Okay. Some of you over here might have had it before. You see, stage fright. Um, I, I never said this because I never had it, but uh, other people used to say this. And many of them say, it, okay. Uh, I was born with this. From my birth, I was uneasy to go and speak on stage. I was never able to go and speak on stage or go and speak in front of people from my birth. It was something that came for me by natural. And uh, that, that is one of the misunderstanding of many of us have. It is a misunderstanding of what uh, we, we, we have this misunderstanding, okay? 
and we think we think that it is uh, okay to have this fear but then the lord taught me and the lord spoke to me and said no this fear is not okay and how did he speak to me through his word and what does his word say god has not given us the spirit of fear if god has not given us the spirit of fear if it doesn't come from god that means it comes from satan and that in other words it means fear is demonic and we should never allow anything that is demonic to rule our life okay now we have to stop playing these small christian games that we many a times play and what are they uh, we compare ourselves to others and if uh, we are saying to them see you are in fear i am not fear that means i am good you are not good these games we many a times play but we are not supposed to play okay uh, see it comes the fear comes um uh, praise god uh, i remember okay uh, on thursday on thursday uh, this happened okay where we we had gone uh, somewhere as uh, because it was the easter uh, holidays and there were no classes on thursday because of easter they had cancelled all no we had cancelled all even us we had cancelled because of easter so what we did was we we went on this uh, trip okay to this place uh, we we always go there uh, so, not only that place many places we go on the trip last time i remember in the summer holidays we went on a, a ferry somewhere very far away okay and it was fun okay we we went on there and and we used to go like that okay one day we had gone even to an aquarium i remember okay and uh, this time we had gone okay to one place a very nice place that is it is like a, we we went there for shopping okay for fun okay and we went there and when we approached there there was this big mall so we went shopping in the mall okay and when we were in the mall uh okay praise god uh, i i could see uh, we had just gone to the washroom okay over there and out of when we were coming out of that okay over there we saw these uh, people fighting uh, they were fighting over something and it was none of our business so we just walked we continued to walk but we could see them fighting uh, and when we were seeing them fighting uh, my dad was like uh, why are they fighting and uh, i was saying lord this comes because of fear whatever you have taught me of fear is so true allah fear leads to anger and 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 the lord taught me through that and said fear also leads to uh, self centeredness you see timidity is self centeredness many of us think self centeredness means arrogance or uh, pride or like a person who's having who's ego but you see fear is self centeredness how is it self centeredness it is when a person is more focused on i on me on how good he is rather than on what god says to him see that that's why i'm saying if you are going on the stage and you're frightened and now you're full of fear you are shy in other words timidity is shy because you are so focused on what people will think and what people will say about you instead of focusing on ourselves we much more need to focus on christ and 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 if we are focused on ourselves we are walking in fear we are walking in fear we are walking in bondage we are walking in bitterness we are walking in uh, agony we are walking in strife because of this because of fear and fear is demonic and we are not supposed to allow it. see there are three gateways of fear anyone remember what are they this is a revision so i will ask questions three gateways of fear anyone self centeredness no that is that is what fear is fear is self centeredness i am asking the gateways of fear so how does fear come into you eyes ears and mouth eyes ears mouth see when you are seeing something contradicting to the word of god fear can come see uh, many of them 
I remember. Ah, uh, uh, when the pandemic was coming, okay, pandemic, and I could see all these people. They were all full of fear. Everywhere you go, you could see this. Okay, with your hands, everyone putting the sanitizer on, and you could see everyone is putting the mask on, and uh, the fear was there. Some people went so extreme with the fear that it is the end of the world. Some people had even given prophecy saying after a month the world will end. Did the world end? No, it didn't. In the beginning, in the March, when the we just came under the pa pandemic, you see in 2020, in uh, July and all, they used to say after one month, it, uh, the world will end. You see in August, September, the world never ended. Okay. Now, many of them were in fear. That's why they were just saying things just because to prove that, prove to people that this is there and that is there. And that prophecy was demonic. And all that prophecy which was given, which was demonic, what was it? It was a spirit. What was the spirit called? A demonic spirit. It was the spirit of fear. Praise God. Uh, you see, uh, let's, I'll give this example, okay. Um, I was uh, having this uh, one table. It was a fold foldable table, okay. Uh, it was okay, but it was not that good. It was uh, made out of plastic and all. And it was not that good because uh, whenever I would go to any of the sessions, okay, even if I touch the table, uh, my audio would be like, there would be so much sound. I don't know whether you remember, okay. Uh, if, even if I would touch that table or even if by mistake, my leg, my small leg touched it, the sound would be like, good, good, good. And my mother was uh, scolding me and saying, why is the sound coming? I'm telling you again and again, stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm telling you, can't you understand? And uh, this, my mother was saying this and I was like, it comes and I don't know why it's coming. Okay. Uh, and uh, it used to come. Okay, some of you may remember. It used to come. And it would be so extreme. And my mother would get so angry. And she would say, if you do this, I will come and do this to you. And after the session, I'll do this. My mother would say that just to make sure that I don't touch it. Okay. And uh, praise God. And I was praying to the Lord saying, Lord, you better give me a new table or Lord. Okay. And uh, I was praying to the Lord and I saw a year passed. I still did not got, still did not receive. And the devil was putting thoughts in my mind and saying, see, he was putting that fear. What if actually uh, that table sound continues? And what if your mother gets so angry at you? And what if this happens? And what if that happens? And there were so many thoughts coming. But I made it that decision to operate in patience, okay? And that was the only hope I had. Operate in patience, operate in faith. That's it. That, that's what I had. There is no other solution for it. So I was operating in patience and I was operating in faith. And what, what happened is I came, okay? And I, when we even moved house, I was having this old, you know, old table. And I, my mother was like, come on, Really? Okay, why uh, why is that sound coming? And my mother tried to solve the issue as well. She tried doing different things, but it wouldn't work. So one day we were going, okay, and, and, and we have seen many miracles like this. We were going into this one shop, okay, and we, we had gone to buy something. And praise God there, the Lord had given to us the table. The exact way I had imagined it, the exact way I had uh, uh, picturized it in my mind, we got it. Praise God, we got it. Uh, I, I, uh, the, and the, the, that has happened in many places. Uh, when my mother and father, they were going to fix the carpet, okay? Uh, uh, the carpet in the house, okay? Uh, not the carpet means like the door carpet, okay? It's a different type of carpet. Uh, on the floor here in UK, sometimes it gets extremely cold, okay? So they, they have created like this carpet floor. So you can put the carpet on, 
like tiles there is a carpet also so because it's very cold here so one part of the house uh, my mother was going to put that carpet okay and they found this one uh, carpet nice color it was a very good color but the price was like i think 4000 uh, 400 pounds means i think 4000 rupees and uh, my mother was like really just for this little uh, little carpet it is 4000 rupees and we made the prayer and what happened is uh, that that carpet we got for 700 700 rupees 70 pounds praise god the the word works we have seen it working many a times we have seen that word working so many times in our life okay when when we wanted the, the house we would not get it but praise god through faith and not operating in fear we got it now one thing one thing throughout all of this what i'm sharing one thing that shocked me was when i stop operating in fear and i start operating in patience what is what brings the manifestation stop operating in fear and i start operating in patience is what brings manifestation are you understanding? Can you put your videos on, please? I can see nobody except myself. Can you put your videos on? Jeriga, Katie. I will be back in a minute, okay? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Uh, Lambert, uh, Rebecca, Sandra, Thomas, put your videos on, please. Praise God. Nobody is willing to put their video on. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. So, did you understand? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes. Write down it. Write down. Praise God. Write down. Fear. Fear. Is a demonic spirit. Fear is a demonic spirit. That tries to attack. That tries to attack. that tries to attack without us realizing, without us realizing. Without us realizing. Fear, the more we operate in fear, sorry, the more we operate in fear, The more we are operating in fear, we we are feeling we are feeling poison to our body poison to our body because God never because God never ordained 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 what is God never ordained us to live us to live 
in fear. In fear. Praise God. So fear does not only affect fear does not only affect our life, but it affects the life of people around us. Okay. God never ordained us to live in fear. Praise the Lord. Not ordering. Ordained. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Praise God. Now, uh, you see in our life. Okay. Uh, I, I never realized this before. And many of us never maybe realized this before. But the Lord said to me, and the Lord said, you better be careful of this. The Lord said, the devil will try to make fear sound like God. How many of you agree with me on that? God always tries to make fear sound like God. The devil, sorry. The devil always tries to make fear sound like God. It, may, it makes, uh, he, he tries to make it sound holy. He tries to make it sound right when it's wrong. That's what the devil did to Adam and Eve. He, he tried to make fear look right. Yeah, God is hiding something from you and God does not want you to know about this. He tried making it look right, but it was not. It was not. And that's why I would, I, I, I would say we really need to be, beware and be careful, be cautious of are we operating in fear or are we operating in faith? Are we operating in the fear that the devil brings or are we operating in the faith that God brings? Praise God. And as the coming days come, I would like to go over, I think, seven, okay, seven or eight of points, okay, on how we, how do we know that we are controlled by fear? And praise God, seven of them, okay. Alice, and Thomas yeah. has raised his hand. Thomas, you have a question? Oh, I did not see his hand. Sorry. Yeah, yeah Thomas, you have a question? Thomas? No, I don't have a question. I don't have a question. Okay, so you would like to say Thomas? No. Okay, but no, okay. I said before. Okay, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, uh, seven points, okay. We will see, okay. And, uh, and, and, and uh, let me tell you, these are extremely important. Okay, in the coming days, we, when we will see this, it is extremely important. And uh, this is what changed my life. And I stand here. The moment the Lord started teaching me this, I now no longer needed to operate in fear. Because the Lord taught me, how do you know if you are being controlled by fear? And when the Lord taught me this, I was like, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. The word of God is so powerful. And uh, we'll see one scripture, okay, connected to this. Now, before we go there, I'll ask you a question. Does anyone know how we react or, or how we respond, sorry, how we respond with the word of God to fear? Anyone? God's promises we should you know the thoughts we should the fear the thought we should override with the word of God. The thought comes, and we should override it with word of God. Okay, okay, very very close. I, I will say ninety nine point nine percent out of hundred. Renewing your mind. Answer is right. Yeah, Kedi. Is it renewing your mind? Renewing your mind. Okay, like nice and empty, Very close. Your answers are right, but there is one more answer I'm looking for. Okay. Anyone else? And it's a scripture. Speak it out loud. Speaking it out loud. Okay. Close. 
speaking it out loud. Overwriting the thought with the word means speaking it, okay? Any other one? Any other answers? Believing in his promises. Believing in his promises. If you change that word promises to something else, to faith. that one, we get the answers like, no, not faith. <laughs> Believing in faith, that doesn't work, kind of, okay? Believing in the promises of God, very close, again, super close. Believing in the word of God. Yeah, believing in the promises means believing in the word, very close. Okay. Okay, should I give you the scripture? Then you will know the answer. 1 John 4, 18. But no looking into the scripture. 1 John 4, 18. Can we cheat? Can we? Can we cheat? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said uh, when we cheat, we can uh, respond <laughs> to fear first. Okay. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Meditate on it. Meditate on it. Okay, good answer. Okay. Getting closer. No, I, actually, if I put the scripture up now and I show you now, you'll be like, this was the simplest thing. And in the beginning, before I went to 2 Timothy 1, so when I started screen sharing, that scripture was on actually. If you were looking carefully, 1 John 4, 18, because I just preached this uh, on that scripture in the previous class. So the, the thing was on only. If you would be careful when I share the screen, you would have seen the scripture. But nobody was paying attention. Okay. Praise God. Let me put that scripture again. Okay. 1 John 4, 18. Where is it? There. Anyone would like to read the scripture? I can read. Yeah. Yeah. Is that critical? Yes. Um. I have to read in the New Living Translation of King James Convention. King James was. There is no fear in love, but perfect love cast off out fear. Because fear has torment, torment, he that fears is not made perfect in love. So, how do we re respond to fear with the word? How? Perfect love. Perfect, Perfect love. love. In love. Okay. Many of you said by believing in God's promise. Means what? By believing in God's love. love. The only one word you needed to change. Hmm. By believing in God's love. So how many of us believe in the love of God? One person. Only times. Okay, two, three. So only three of us believe in the love of God. Okay. Now, if we are believing in the love, okay, now that means he's saying the more I operate in love, is the more my focus will be shifted from fear to faith. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes or no? Did you say yes or no? Yes, yes. Yes, no. I said yes. I know, but the answer was no, not yes. You said yes, but the answer was not yes. It was no. See, I said, the more I love others and the more I operate in love is what makes fear out. It, it brings fear out of me and it brings faith in me. But actually, it's not about, um, you know, uh, your, your love. It is about actually God's love. The more you understand God's love, it what is what casts out all fear. Yeah. Praise God. So, did you all understand any questions, any doubts? Anyone would like to ask anything? Praise God.
today we had a very short lesson but i think a very touching one for me it was very touching when i heard this in the first place yes very beautiful uh fashion lesson because you know this um the fear comes you know in in very very you know not very publicly it comes out you know it it is in your you know, behind your mind or something it it attacks you without you realizing exactly exactly as i give it enough without mm. realizing without because realizing because it comes it looks like it's the word it looks like it's right mm. when it comes it looks like it's right but actually it's fear yeah because it's okay to have it kind of like, yeah because the devil makes it sound like god yeah with like jesus he said the angels will come and protect you when you throw yourself down that was he he pushed it the scripture when he said if thou be the son of god he did not say the beloved he said only the son of god he pushed it the scripture for at the many when he came and attacked them he said god is hiding something from you he tried to make it like god but it was not god it was fear yes is- many things happens in our life the 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 background is fear in the anger comes out you know the your prejudices your you know reactions you know the negative reactions all comes out from this fear but we don't realize we just put out a very very strong face outside but maybe you are really fearing inside you are really scared inside and that uh, brings out in different different reactions the fight as you said the fight happens because the fear of you know uh, people fight because they they are scared they are not able to they, they they don't understand you know why what is happening and then you know this this comes out as you know the many relationships fail many will be lie a lot you know when when we are scared the fear comes so operating in love very simple operating in love and understanding god's love you know overrides all the fear from us you know thank you alastair it was wonderful wonderful session short and beautiful beautiful thank you and so let's uh, pray if anybody anybody want to say anything thomas kedi jerica anyone today it was a very quiet class nobody was ready to talk yeah because uh, our what's his name he is not there what, what is our you i forgot his name devi ha huh? sister devi you were talking for no 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 not devi devi the, uh, the, the boy lovel not lovel Rowan 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 yeah 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 he's not there today yeah Rowan is not there i don't so have his talks, number yeah he's yeah. Uh, his video is on and all always on yeah yeah praise god praise god okay let's pray and wind up let's then okay. oh, yes thank you lord thank you our father thank you jesus thank you holy spirit thank you lord for the word of revelation the word of understanding the word of wisdom the word of knowledge the word of faith the word of believing the word of trust the word of your so lot lord your word is living on the inside of us so lot today lord this word is what changes our life completely it is what uh, transforms our life completely oh lord jesus thank you lord for the revelation knowledge of your word and lord as we have heard your word today oh lord we believe oh lord that your word is what sets us free because lord as we have heard your word today your word is what changes our life completely forever your word lord is what gives us the understanding your word is what oh lord that changes our life and lord as we have heard your word today oh lord we believe oh lord that it is this word and that it is this truth that is changing our life completely changing and will change and has changed already our life thank you lord for the convicting conviction of the holy spirit that you have put in us all thank you lord in jesus name we pray our father amen 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 thank you all listen